keep fighting voices in my mind that say I'm not enough. Mm -hmm. The flag we all wanted to see today. Mm. But 90 urban mm. dancers from the Tottenham Bay group stepped us, surrounding the float here. Mm. All between the ages of 5 and 17, they're a community street dance company. You also see, moving around the truck, a group of wheelchair athletes. Wheelchair basketball, a really big sport, but also wheelchair rugby, and this autumn sees the Rugby League World Cup, which is the men's, women's, and wheelchair competitions, and the first time all being staged um, at, on the same timeline, building up to to finals in November. It's really quite extraordinary. So known as the Dream Engine, this. He's a UK pole champion, a world power pole champion in section of this part of the pageant is the thank you dance and it is a huge thank you to the queen but also that thank you paid by people to whom i think we owe huge thanks key workers who have played an essential role during the pandemic and the tower queen there yuande kanike a volunteer and there are so many people within this section who have stepped up and looked after other people, put other people before themselves, and really are the heart of a, a wonderful community. Young people as well who, who are taking on the challenges of protecting the planet. And 14 silk flags carried by 28 key workers. The key workers leading the performance. And what we have here is young people, young performers from Thurrock, Milton Keynes and London carrying those silk scarves. Her Majesty the Queen has made such a, a point of thanking these key workers over the past two years. We've seen her, whether that's in video messages, Zoom calls, um, and of course in her birthday honours list as well. So many of these key workers have been rightly awarded and thanked for the incredible work that they've done. uncontrollable elements of this parade but I am so glad that although it's grey overhead and a little bit overcast it hasn't rained because the silk of these flags and the beauty of the pageant and also just the general mood and for the spectators as well it is so much 
um, easier when oh, it's not pouring. Claire, we were at the Derby, weren't we? And before the Royal Arrival and before the races, it was bucketing it down. It was meant to rain last night. It didn't. Nothing is going to rain on Her Majesty's Parade. I have been checking the weather every single day for about two weeks, but it's held off. Beautiful parade. So all the flags and the silks in this thank you dance made from Murshidabad.